Hello friends, I'm King Link and it's that time of the month. No, not that time. It's time to go over the Humble Monthly Bundle for April 2019. We started with three early unlocks this month, which is becoming the standard. We have Northguard, Mutant Year Zero, and Absolver. Three different games, and all three were actually unknown to me when I started this month. Of course, we did get a bonus game, and I'll talk about that at the end. What could it be? I'll be showing a short clip of each game with my voiceover. Clearly, I've gotten more comfortable with video editing, so with that said, let's begin with Northguard. Northguard is a top-down RTS that actually reminds me a lot of Warcraft. You know, others will call it similar to Settlers. I can't make that comparison, honestly, because I've never played the Settlers games. However, Northguard is a game based on Norse and Viking mythology, but sadly it doesn't do enough with it. The story is a bit plain, though the story mode is pretty good. It took me at least 15 hours to play through, and honestly, it isn't that bad. I know I've said Warcraft and Settlers for this game, but honestly, after finishing the game, I realized it's more like an interesting worker placement game from a Euro board game. You assign your units to different buildings, let the resources come in. There's combat, but I'm not sure how much combat the devs were really considering necessary. It's easy to gimmick the AI, but most fights come to standstill when you're fighting against other clans for the most part. I know if I was a big RTS fan, this probably would be a big like for me. As it is, honestly, I probably won't be returning, but I think this might be the best game of this pack. I gave it a 3.5 out of 5. Mutant Year Zero is a... Well, you know, let's just start with the XCOM game. In a lot of ways, it's very similar to XCOM. It is based on a board game, and it does a decent amount of stuff differently than XCOM, though. The big focus of Mutant Year Zero is stealth rather than huge battles. You can carefully pick off enemies and use your abilities to slowly pick them off without anyone knowing. It's a good idea, and it's actually well executed. If you're a fan of XCOM and you want something a little bit different, this is a good uh, game to take a look at. The stealth is well designed, and while I have some issues with it, it's a good take on the genre. Now, the downside of this game is it's very short, uh, only less than 20 hours, and has limited replayability. The world is always the same, and there's really no randomized elements except loot drops, which isn't really a lot. It's just loot or how many uh, items you get, nothing too big. Playing through it a second time is playing the same game. Even going up on difficulty has marginal changes once you know how to play it. You know, I'm not a fan of Mutant Year Zero, and at full price, I gave it a 3 out of 5. Though, a part of the Humble Bundle, it's probably going to be a little bit higher, maybe a 3.5. Finally, we come to Absolver. You know, that's an open-world fighting game, and honestly, having a really good 3D fighter is a novel thing. It's one I barely can think of other examples. The combat is good, the multiplayer is good, but I think the player count is going to go down after this month, and that's going to make it harder to play. I do like the ability to combine moves into what's called a move set, and then use that to fight enemies, though I didn't have to use that feature. The fighting does have some depth there, I've heard PvP definitely needs that. Sadly though, as much as I like the game, it's kind of short. Like, the main PvE section took me less than 4 hours. There's an addition called Downfall that adds time to the game, but it's not that long either. And the game is really meant to do more PvP, but like I said, the low player count... That's going to get rougher. That all said, 30 bucks is probably too much for this game as it is. For that, I gave it a 2 out of 5. But the fact is, you can get it for 12 bucks here. Maybe that gives it the bump up to 3 out of 5. So, those are the early unlocks of April 2019's Humble Monthly Bundle. I didn't see any hints on what the extra games are. I looked for them the way that I've heard. Doesn't work anymore, unfortunately. But... They actually did release an early reveal called Minette. Now, I can go into why they might have done an early reveal, but that would just be speculation. But Minette itself, well, Minette's odd, guys. So it's a game based on time loops and repetitions, kind of the idea behind Groundhog Day, but they added in almost a Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening gameplay to it. I had to record this video again, but in my mind, Minette's worth taking the extra time for this. I really think Manette needed a story, though. It's a good game, but it's over so blazingly fast, and the mechanics, well, there's not much need for replayability here. Unless you're a speedrun fan, and if you are, that's what this game is made for. If there was a little story here explaining what's going on, they could have done more, but as it is, well, I finished my first loop in 80 minutes, and I think I could have gotten all the achievements in under 4 hours if I tried and used guides. It's really short, but honestly... 
I think it might now be my favorite game this month, beating Northgard. You know, Northgard is probably a better game, but Minette's the one I found more interesting. I gave Minette a 3 out of 5, and if you do get this bundle, I'm also going to give it my must play of the month. This is the one you need to try. So how is April 2019's Humble Monthly Bundle? Well, I bought it, but to be honest, none of the first three games really spoke to me. The best game was in a genre I'm not a huge fan of, that being RTSs. I love XCOM, but All Mutant Year Zero made me think is I need to go back and play XCOM 2. I haven't reviewed that yet. Or, if you're a Nintendo fan, maybe play Morio and Rabbit Kingdom Battles. If you played both of those, it's fine. An Absolver was very good, but it left me wanting more due to the length of the game, not the quality of it. Now, Manette helped me, but it's a cheap game. It's only about 10 bucks online. If that's the one you're looking for, I don't know for sure. Overall, though, I think April 2019 was a weak month. Unless one of these games is really speaking to you, I would say it's probably worth a miss. Now, these games together do account for $100 of the MSRP. The range for the final bundle is maybe $180 to two something. But there's always could be something special in an unlock, so I don't know what to tell you guys. I'll be honest, though, if next month we get another lineup like this... I might be considering doing even shorter reviews of these games, or maybe just YouTube only. I devoted a lot of time to three games that, uh, honestly, I didn't have strong feelings for. Either way, that's what I think of these games. You can now check out the reviews that should be on the corners of the screen. If you want to know more about any of these games, consider subscribing. And I'll be back early next month to give you previews of all the early unlocks in the May 2019 Humble Monthly Bundle. Until then, I'm King Link. And thank you for watching.